I'm Pete Pepper, part of the Piedmont. Part of the Piedmont is my newspaper. How long have you guys been ice skating fans? <laughs> We've been oh. national since 89. Yeah. 89, where was that? Baltimore. Baltimore, and who, who, do you remember who the Jill champion Trin was then? Jill Trinnery. Jill Trinnery. Oh, Christopher Bowman won the Christopher man. Bowman won the match. Yeah, and Christopher Bowman was, uh, he was, he was, uh, wasn't he in the Olympics at some point? 1988. Bowman the showman. And who else was in that 1988 Olympics? Wiley and Boitano, Brian Boitano and Tal Wiley. Brian Wiley. the men. Battle of the Brian. Battle of the Battle, that sounds, that sounds, and, and, and who came out as the victorious in the Battle of the Brian? <laughs> so that's Brian Boitano? That's right. I remember him, he was good. I'm looking for Avonlea Wynn. I don't know that I recognize her off the ice, and I'm supposed to get a picture of her. You know, that always challenges me, too, because they look so much different and they, taller they, yeah. on the ice. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry I can't help you. The camera? Right there. Huh. No, 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 no. Let me um, finish oh, excuse me, excuse, yeah. excuse me. I'm Pete Pepper from the Proud of the Piedmont. How are you doing? I saw you skate the other night. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank the selfie? Yeah. That'd sure. be great. Excuse me, sir. I'll take it for you. Yes, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mariah Rusty's going to grab you. He looks much taller on the ice. Yeah. Best of all time. Best of all time. <laughs> Pete Pepper, proud of the Pete Monk. How are you nice doing? Nice to meet you. What's it like to be thrown in the air and it's it's got to be so brave for you to do that. Uh, sorry for inter interrupting your breakfast. I'm Pete Pepper from Proud of the Piedmont. Danny, very nice uh, to, nice to you. meet you. I saw you guys see all skate yesterday and it was amazing. Some skaters jump with, uh, do jumps with their arms in here. Some have arms over their head. Who was the person who invented the arm? Adam Rapon made it. Yeah. Adam Rapon made it famous. Yeah. But Brian Boitano also did it. Uh, yeah. On, on the Lutz. Oh, okay. In the day. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, they called it the Tano Lutz and then the Rippon Lutz because Adam Rippon had two arms above his head. Oh, two arms. That seems even more difficult. And, and I'm just wondering if it's harder to skate or walk on those heels. Nah, I would not want to walk in those heels. <laughs> I would want to I wouldn't skate. want to walk in skates or heels like that. I think I got some heels close to that, but yeah. it's not that high. Uh -huh. Do you have any well, favorite skaters from the past? What male skaters have you loved in the past? Scott Hamilton. He, he is, he's my favorite as well. Who's your, who's your second favorite American male skater of all time? Uh, that time, um, American male skater, well, Brian. Wartana. Brian Wartana, he was amazing. You, I've been following you all week and you are just so amazing. I, I, I got a couple questions to ask you. So it seems like the Twizzlers that you guys do, the, the things that go around in circles, it's like you're jumping, uh, like the ice dancers doing a triple jump. Yeah, a nuanced performance. Is it, is it usual for the girl to be so much better than the, the guy skater? Because Meryl, she was just like flawless. And Charlotte, she seems to not be quite as good as Meryl. <laughs> oh my god, they did not know. John just goes, you know who that was, right? Oh, he did. Out of all the titles that you won, what was the most important one? I'm out of the Olympics. So here's a technical question. Do you get more dizzy doing the backflip or the jumping and spinning? Spinning. Spinning. If I spin clockwise, I get sick to my stomach. I can only spin counterclockwise. I'd get sick to my stomach too. You're the best. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you so that. Good wow. I'm getting an Academy Award. I'll tell you the two greatest performances I've ever seen in the Olympics. Okay. Brian Boitano at the 88 Calgary Olympics. Brian Boitano at the 88, wow. So, I mean, he was, it was like a program for the ages. Well, I remember him being very handsome. Very handsome. Well, that's got. That, that, that's irrelevant. Yeah, uh, that's great that he was so athletic. That you're that famous commentator. I'm Pete Pepper, proud of the paid mom. The only one that recognized me. <laughs> Pete Pepper, proud of the paid mom. Newspaper. Oh, okay. You do such a great job. Um, do you have any memorable moments of people that you've interviewed oh or gosh, talked to? A million, to? a million moments. I mean, I was there when Tara Lipinski won her gold medal in Nagano in 1998. Tara. Um, Lipinski, the, who I now is, work with. How do you spell that? L-I-P-I-N-S-K-I. -I. Lipinski, she won the gold medal and she was... Gold medal. You want to, I'll walk with you. No, well, I've got to get, uh, you, you can't go where I'm going. Okay. I gotta, yeah, I... I, I, I ah! <laughs>
Honest to God, I'm killing you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's never brought the bead mine. I'm talking well, to you. Well, you changed friend. your voice really I well, know. too. Well, I that was brilliant. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a fun event. I think I'll come back here yeah. next year. Yeah.